how did you really redefine for you what what gave you sort of that sense of self-worth? How did you redefine success leaving what had been your path for so mm -hmm. long? How did you make that transition? That's good. Uh, you know, my after my collegiate career, uh, my NFL career was, didn't go as planned. You know, I, I, I mentioned I, I did play for eight years, which was good. You know, when you look back, you're like, oh, wow. You know, you play eight years. You got it <laughs> without getting beat up. So that, that was the, the best part about it. Uh, but I wanted to um, redefine myself as, as a coach, mentoring players. You know, when you're a player, you're getting yourself ready to play. That's what you do for your team. Um, you work hard, a, a lot, oftentimes alone, getting ready for your football team, whether it be studying or working out, et cetera. When you're coaching, it's a different dynamic. And, and now you're in charge of getting players ready. And you know what? I, I coached for 20 years, and I had the greatest thrill, even more so than as a player, of getting kids ready to play, uh, watching them come in as really as boys and leaving as men. And that's what happens at the collegiate level in, in the football world. You get part of the recruiting of them and get to know their families and then bringing them in and they didn't they don't know anything yet and then you see them coming along and then the light turns on and there's nothing more special than that when the light turns on i i happen to coach um one of the great lessons i, I coached the heisman trophy winner and jason white at oklahoma in 2003. here's a kid from small town oklahoma came in athletic very athletic could run and throw Blew out his sophomore year. He blew out his uh, one of his knees. Had total A ACL reconstruction out the entire year. Came back the next year. Blew out the other knee in game in game both in game three. So he had total reconstructed knees on each knee, and he was out that year. And then he was rehabbing all of two years, mostly up to three years. Of, he was in the training room rehabbing his knees. Oklahoma is a, is a rabid football state. You know, you go down south, Adam, the football pressure goes up, right? And everybody and their uncle, every media outlet, everybody in town, Chuck, Jason White is done. He can't play anymore. He's got two bad knees. He can't even move. I said, you know, I, I listen to all that, and we, we get into multiple staff meetings and talk about the future and, and I just believed this kid had a certain tenacity about him and work ethic. Tough, tough kid from a small town. Reminded me a lot of Iowa. Iowa kids, I said, hey, we got to give this kid a chance. So we modified the system. We, we put him in shotgun primarily. Didn't have him move around because I knew he had ability yet. And, and we fought through. He's, he's going into his senior year now. And we fought through a lot of tough times with him and I had I made made sure I had to get number two ready uh, I even had our strength coach come to me and say Chuck you got to get somebody else ready to play here's a kid that did not go through spring ball we we kept him out of spring ball his senior year could not get through the summer weight coach comes to me and says Chuck you better get somebody else ready to play he could barely get through right now we go into the fall and we have a modified program for him we 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 kept him out uh, uh he would practice, and then we kept him out a day just so he can ice his knees down and keep the swelling down, right? We get to the season, and we have to keep him out every Monday after a game because his knees would swell up a little bit, so we kept him out. Jason wins the Heisman Trophy that year. Not only did he play, he won the Heisman Trophy through for incredible. 40 touchdowns. It was, it was, if you Google that story, and there's a lot of great Heisman stories, don't get me wrong, but that's probably the best as far as perseverance, toughness, and getting through two blown-out knees. A lot, a lot of people know that story. It should be out there. But if you want uh, a story on guts and determination, that was it. And I was so proud of that moment because I had nothing. I mean, I, I encouraged him. I would not let him quit. Because uh, there was a time he came to my office in the spring, and he did say, hey, Coach, should I hang this thing up? And I said, Jason, it's only April. You don't need to decide that right now. Let's just work through the summer because I knew he could get through it. And lo and behold, he was the Heisman Trophy. So uh, it was one of my moments where I, you know, where 
I felt where leadership worked. Right. Where leadership, my leadership worked. And it resonated with him, and it got him through it. And I just loved mentoring the kids. And I found out over time that I liked that part of it more than I liked playing.